We're following new developments tonight in the murder of a two-year-old little girl police say was killed by her older sister. Tonight, hear from the neighbor who found the girl. You make it seem like it's a dream, but like you ain't woke up yet. That neighbor could also hold the key to why baby Sasha died. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Fisher. For the past couple of days, we have watched this family go through more pain and suffering than anyone could imagine. They're forced to bury their young daughter and yet support her accused killer at the very same time. Tonight, CBS Atlanta's Mike Paluska joins us live. He's outside the DeKalb County Court where this 13-year-old made her first appearance before a judge earlier today. Ours were not allowed inside the courtroom today. They would not let us in, but we did get a first-hand look at the 13-year-old that she was brought in and out of court. A 13-year-old that police say brutally stabbed her two-year-old sister to death. This video of 13-year-old Taisha Jackson coming out of court with her head down provides a stark contrast to this family photo taken two weeks ago. In it, Taisha smiles, surrounded by a loving family. Her sister, Sasha Ray, is smiling too. I'm just taking it one day at a time. Veronica Hillman would not talk about what she saw yesterday afternoon, a grisly scene of little Sasha covered in blood, lifeless in the backyard. I, I told the mom I found the baby, but I didn't go in detail. It wasn't for me to go in detail. I let the husband do it. That's what I did. My daughter was laying down in the ground. I picked her up. She wasn't dead yet. Sasha's father, Shelton Ray, is still in shock. He says last night at 11 p.m., Tyasia called and confessed to stabbing her little sister to death. We don't, we don't know why. She told me, she told me her head was hurting. She didn't feel like she was in her right mind. That's what she told me. But from what Hillman and three other kids inside the house say, it could have been over a 13-year-old boy. They think Tyasia was worried Sasha was going to tell their parents about the boy. My five-year-old daughter, soon to be six, told me that she was mad because they told our neighbor where the boy was at in the house. Hillman says she found the boy hiding in a closet and kicked him out. Oh, I just asked and told the boy to come out the house because it's like trespass. We're going to call 911 and he left. So after that happened, I just came on to my house. So I really don't know what happened after that. But Sasha's family knows more than they want to know about the brutal act that happened next. She made all the other kids go upstairs. And Tyasia will be charged as an adult, was charged as an adult with murder today. She has another court appearance the first week of December. We're live in Decatur and DeKalb County. Mike Paluska, CBS. Good afternoon, Atlanta I'm Stephanie News. Fisher. And I'm Dequetta Williams. Police have charged the toddler's 13-year-old sister with her murder. That girl was found dead near her home yesterday afternoon. That home is off Waldrop Trail in Decatur. CBS Atlanta's Tony McNary joins us live from DeKalb County, where this teenager made her first appearance in court just a few hours ago. Yes, she did, Stephanie. And police charged 13-year-old Taisha Jackson with murdering her two-year-old sister. Now, Taisha's father says she confessed to killing her sister because she was mad at her. Now, we were here inside the courtroom when Tyasia appeared before a judge for the very first time. The 13-year-old Tyasia Jackson walked with her head down as DeKalb County detectives escorted her into magistrate court. Police charged Tyasia with killing her two-year-old sister, Sasha Ray. She told me out her own mouth she did it. Shelton Ray says he was at school and his wife was at work when it happened at their Decatur home on Monday. Tyasia was home with her four younger sisters. My wife's co-worker lives right there. Okay. She was watching them. Okay. You know what I mean? She was watching them. She seen my older daughter let a boy in the house. Okay. She called my wife at work. Um, my wife told her to go get the boy out of the house. Ray says Taisha got mad after Sasha told her neighbor where the boy was hiding. Ray says Taisha made her other three sisters go upstairs. Then she stabbed Sasha several times in the chest. He says she did it near the back door of their home, and then she put her sister outside. Ray found Sasha lying on the ground in the backyard when he came home. He says Taisha told everyone the child was missing. I thought maybe a dog had gotten her or something because of the, the bruises and the scars and the bleeding. Murder was far from my mind at that time. I didn't think that anyone had did anything to her. Ray says Sasha died in his arms while they were trying to rush her to the hospital. He and his family made this memorial where his daughter, who just turned two two weeks ago, took her last breath. 
Now Ray and his wife have to bury one daughter and find the strength to support another. It's tough to, tough to swallow right now. I can't believe that she did it. But at the same time, um, she still needs our help. We're still her parents. Now, Ray says after Ty Asia stabbed Sasha, she cleaned up the blood that was inside their home, changed clothes, and then she went outside and helped everyone search for her. We're live in DeKalb County, Tony McNary, CBS Good evening, I'm Atlanta Stephanie News. Fisher. That was the two-year-old's father you heard from. Now, he would not talk about the details surrounding his daughter's death, but he did have a message for his stepdaughter. CBS Atlanta's Mike Paluska has been on this story all night. Stephanie, this has been an extremely difficult day, not only for that father, but the entire family. He didn't want to talk about the investigation or what happened inside this townhome behind me, but he did want to give a picture of his little girl that died earlier today. She just had a birthday, November 6th. She's two years old now. This picture of Sasha Lamaya Ray was taken two weeks ago. Sasha's father, Shelton Latroy Ray, says his two-year-old daughter was brilliant and extremely smart for her age. This is my 13-year-old stepdaughter was being accused of the murder. We blurred this picture of Ray's stepdaughter. He says police have charged her with murder. According to DeKalb County Police, the 13-year-old was babysitting Sasha when the little girl disappeared. Her parents found her in the backyard of their townhome. We don't want to disclose the nature of the injuries, but our detectives do believe that they have a cause of death. The parents rushed Sasha to the hospital, but she couldn't be saved. It's really upsetting. I mean, when I just heard it, though, I mean, I, I wanted to cry. That's just how it is because it's someone so innocent so they just can't even defend themselves they can't even talk I mean it's just it's just sad to lose a child and to lose the child the way she did no I can't imagine Latanya Marsh says she talked to the 13 year old numerous times and never noticed anything wrong she was very respectful she walked up and introduced herself Ray says he has three other biological daughters he now has to tell them what happened to their sister and he has this message for his stepdaughter what you did was wrong and there are going to be some consequences that you have to face and you're going to have to face them and we're going to help you along the way while you're facing those consequences but you have to change your attitude as, a, as I've always told you you have to change your attitude and we've been trying to get a hold of the Cab County Police for more information on any updates regarding this case. They told us that for tonight, they will not comment on any of the information that the family provided us earlier tonight. For now, we are live in Decatur and DeKalb County. Mike Paluska, CBS Atlanta News.